What if we dumped our trash in volcanoes? This question comes from one of our viewers. If trash is such a big problem, why don't we just throw it into volcanoes? At first, it sounds genius. Earth has these gigantic holes full of lava, hotter than any furnace we could build. Lava is literally melted rock, thousands of degrees hot. Surely it could handle a few million tons of soda cans, plastic bottles, and yesterday's leftovers, right? Imagine it. Garbage trucks lining up at the edge of a volcano, backing up, tipping over, and whoosh. All our waste vanishing into a fiery pit. Landfills gone. Ocean garbage patches gone. Pollution gone. Problem solved. Well, not quite. Let's break it down. Step 1. Getting the trash there. Volcanoes aren't exactly next to every city. Most of them are in remote areas, on islands, mountain ranges, or deep in the wilderness. To use them as trash cans, we'd need to haul billions of tons of waste across oceans, deserts, and jungles. That means fleets of ships, trains, trucks, and maybe even cargo planes. All burning fuel, pumping out carbon, and making the whole process way worse for the planet. Just transporting the garbage would create more pollution than landfills ever did. And then there's the final delivery. Picture a line of garbage trucks crawling up the steep slope of Mount Etna or Kilauea, their engines overheating as the air gets hotter and thinner. Workers in heat-proof suits trying not to melt while reversing trucks toward the crater's edge. It's not exactly OSHA approved. Step 2. The moment of truth. Okay, let's say we somehow get our trash to the volcano's mouth. We dump it in. What happens? Plastic? It bursts into flames instantly, releasing choking clouds of dioxins, carbon monoxide, and hydrochloric acid. Metal? Sure, it might melt. But some metals release toxic vapors like lead or mercury. Electronics are even worse, batteries exploding, wires sparking, old phones and laptops burning into clouds of poisonous smoke. And here's the real surprise. Lava doesn't actually swallow things the way movies show. It's thick, sticky, and buoyant. Throw a car into lava, and it doesn't sink. It floats, sizzling like a marshmallow on a campfire. Big chunks of trash might just sit there, smoking and releasing toxins into the air without ever disappearing. Step 3. Making the volcano angrier. Now imagine this happening not with one truckload, but with millions. What happens when we keep dumping? Volcanoes aren't trash bins. They're pressure release valves for Earth's molten interior. Clogging them with piles of cooling junk could block vents, trap gases, and trigger unexpected eruptions. Instead of solving pollution, we might end up causing explosions powerful enough to flatten nearby cities. We'd be trading landfills for lava bombs? Step 4. The Big Picture Let's say, somehow, we managed to avoid eruptions. Even then, we've created another global problem. All that smoke, all those chemicals, all that carbon dioxide released by burning trash. Straight into the atmosphere. Volcanoes already produce natural emissions when they erupt. Add billions of tons of garbage fires on top of that, and we've just supercharged global warming. And here's the kicker. Humans produce more than 2 billion tons of waste every year. No matter how many volcanoes we use, there aren't nearly enough of them to handle it. And the cost of hauling that much trash to remote volcanoes? Astronomical. It would bankrupt entire countries just to move the garbage. Step 5. The illusion of an easy fix. The deeper problem is this. Throwing trash into volcanoes feels like a shortcut. A way to keep consuming, keep throwing away, without ever facing the consequences. But the truth is, our garbage problem isn't about where we put it. It's about how much of it we make. If tomorrow every country started tossing waste into volcanoes, we wouldn't be fixing pollution. We'd just be moving it from the ground into the air, from the oceans into the sky. The trash wouldn't disappear. It would just come back to us in the form of poisoned air, hotter climates, and dangerous eruptions. So, what if we dumped our trash in volcanoes? At first, it would look spectacular. Chairs bursting into flames, refrigerators melting into rivers of glowing metal, cars sizzling like fiery marshmallows. 
the world's biggest fireworks show. But soon, we'd be choking on toxic smoke, triggering deadly eruptions and making climate change worse. The truth is, volcanoes don't want our trash, and neither does the planet. The real answer isn't finding a hotter fire to throw our garbage into. It's making less garbage in the first place.